Sticking around here more. Never sneak. We always like to do We're everything in see. the open. You want to see? <laughs> yeah, we have a Make sure he's sure got this place. Okay. All right. According to rule 10, this is our annual organizational meeting according to the rules. <laughs> Uh, first Vice President and me will chair the chair the meeting. Keep it nice, short, and brief. Uh, I think uh, we have two candidates for the majority leader position. John Mariel and myself. I will be going for re-election. John is opposing me for the seat. Currently, John is lobbied. I have lobbied based on the math that I've ran, and I don't know what John's math is running. But we're sitting at five. John, six, me, one swing vote. My gut tells me this will be decided on the floor. I think so. Yep. Okay, in the event of a 6-6 six, six tie, President Shulman, decision will be yours. Until then, or his, uh, until then, we will conduct business as usual. Myself and the assistant leader. Chris is currently unopposed as the assistant leader, unless somebody is putting their name in a hat, if they are. Nobody's speaking up. All right. Chris and myself will go through, start looking at committee assignments for 2018. If you'd like to be involved in that, Mr. Mario, in case we do have a tie. Yep. On January 8th, we'd be more than glad to sit. When will we be voting for leader, assistant leader? Correct. January 8th. January 8th. January 8th. First meeting. Okay. Very first meeting. First up on the agenda. It'll be on the agenda as to what we're going to session. That's the way we roll. Our okay. sense of changing things now. Between now and then, I think. Yes, I, 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 I did it. I, mean, I wasn't paying attention, so please excuse me. You're going to do committees before the new people take office, or people take off before they take. We will have not. We won't have any committees before January. January I is our very first meeting. What we have in place now will oh. stay until. Oh, okay. Then. All right. That's, that's, that's what I, I was. So January is. I apologize. Because the new for whoever new yeah, people are have that right fine. to change that. Okay. Right. All right. That's that. I misheard. I'm sorry. Yeah. I wasn't paying attention. I apologize. So nothing will change until January eighth. Committees will remain the same, leadership will remain the same. On January 8th, we will have the vote on the floor. And the rules will carry through. That will also be Correct. changed at the time when you get a new rules committee. So, committee appointments, committees that you're interested in, provide a list. Chris and I will share the information. So, put together your best wish list. Rule changes, proposed rule changes. Anything you'd like to see differently, put it in black and white. We will take that and hand it off to the clerk. And I would like a copy of that also. Right. It comes up and go get the search. Right. But we will go into January 8th meeting with the same rules we have in place now. So, to be blunt as Frank is, no, no shady shit will occur. We will stay with the rules that we've established and the entire program. Other than that, it basically concludes this meeting. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Yeah, well, how about uh, how about answering some questions? <laughs> Two, 250 a piece. <laughs> yeah, your uh, expression, no shady shit will happen. What, what, were you, what were you alluding to there? That's a trust thing to let people know that we are not going to try anything, nor would they try anything. So to ensure everybody feels safe and comfortable, we will not mess with the rules, nor will we juggle the rules committee around. So you, in the meeting, you talked in terms of you think you have a 65 lead with one uncommitted? Correct. Okay. And so you and... Uh, Mr. Mariel will uh, be working uh, uh, on that. Uh, who is the commit uncommitted person? Only, only that person knows. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, you buy into this, uh, Councilman Mario? I, you know, till the next vote, Frank is the majority leader, <laughs> and uh, you know, I respect that, and we will decide January 8th when the new council is seated. Why did you uh, decide to challenge uh, Councilman Morris? With the, you know, the comprehensive plan is nearing two years, I want to say, since we adopted it. Um, I think it is crucially important for the city to implement the comprehensive plan, to fund the comprehensive plan. Um, with my work on the budget um, and my passion for getting the comprehensive plan in place um, is what made me want to run for majority leader. Of course, we all know what an outspoken person Councilman Morris is. Uh, is that a factor? Well, we do have different styles. But, no, right. you know, it's, 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 it's about, it really is not about, and I think Frank would say this too, it's not about either one of us. It's about moving the city into a position where it's growing and it's thriving. I think the only way you can do that is through the comprehensive plan. We funded it, we've committed to the public that we're going to implement it, that we're going to fully fund it. I think we need to do that. And time is becoming, um, you know, we're running out of time to do that. We can't allow this to continue to sit around. We need to act decisively. How would being majority leader enhance uh, your ability to move the city along better than you think it has under Morris's leadership? Well, I think the majority leader has a unique ability to direct um, the priorities in the discussion. And making the comprehensive plan um, work part of that, I think, is something that can you know, propel that forward. Any of the uh, other council persons have comment on the process?